number 3, the diagram on the right shows sector EOF of a circle, EOF of a circle with center O, alright. Given that OG is 4CM, so OG is 4CM and OE is 5CM, so OE is 5CM. Find the value of theta in radian. So we see here in A, we see we have a right angle triangle which we can use trigo lah. So we see here theta. So this is theta. So we know this is adjacent and this is hypotenuse. So the formula, so ja, toa, the one with A and H is cos. So we know that cos theta is equal to, cos is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, 4 over 5. So theta is equal to cos inverse 4 over 5. So here we get 36 degree 52 minute. So this is in degree. So we know that degree to radian. So radian is smaller than degree. So we times 180 should be below. So pi over 180. So 36 52 times pi pi over 180 so pi is 3.142 over 180 we will get so you see here in your calculator you can directly key in 36 degree so 36 degree 52 minute times so you see here so 3.142 divided by 100 80. So when you take plates equal, you see you will get in, uh, you will get in degree and minute. So you, you just press the, the degree and minute back, and then you get 0 0.6435. So 0 0.6435. This one is radian. So we see here, theta in radian is equal to 0 0.6435 radian. So B, the perimeter of the shaded region. So we see here the perimeter is equal to EG plus EG plus GF plus, so you see R, S is R, so R, E, F. So we know to find R, S is equal to R theta. Okay, we see EG first. So we see here EG, we can use uh, Pythagoras theorem. So 5 square, so for EG, 5 square minus 4 square third is equal to 3. So we know that EG is equal to 3. So EG is equal to 3 plus so GF here. So we see here this one is O to E is 5 cm. So O to F is also 5 cm. So here is 1 cm and then SEF plus. So now how to find SEF? So we see here SEF, so R E SEF is equal to R theta where R is radius and theta is degree. So we know that the radius is equal to 5 cm and then the theta that we just calculate is 0 0.6435 radian, 0 0.6435 radian. So we get three point two one eight cm so sef is three point two one eight cm so we add everything four plus three seven point two one eight cm so number four the diagram on the right shows two sectors so we have opq and then we have o r s okay with center o and the ready of 2H and 3HCM respectively. So we see here the radius of this one is 2H, 2H and this one is 3H. Alright. Okay. Given that POQ is 0 0.5 radian, so POQ we have 0 0.5 radian and the perimeter of the shaded PQSR is 18cm. So the shaded region, uh, so the perimeter is 18cm. Find the value of H in cm. So we see here, it's given that 
the perimeter so we know that the perimeter is so here so we are doing a and right perimeter is equal to so perimeter of the shaded is pr so here pr plus r of rs plus sq plus so here r of pq so r of p so when we are talking about r you know s is equal to r theta so to calculate uh, so to calculate r we need to have the radius and we need to have the radian so in this case we see here uh, o to s is 3h so o to p is 2h so 3h minus 2h is equal to h so pr is equal to h and sq is also equal to h so h so how to calculate rs uh, rs so rs so we have the radius right so rs so here for the rs from the center o to the r is 2h so is 3h so 3h and then the radian is 0 0.5 so here you get 3 times 0 0.5 is 1.5 h So, this one, as R, uh, the R of RS is 1.5 H. Plus, so, the R of PQ, as PQ is equal to, so, the radius to the PQ, you see, the radius is 2 H. And then, the radian is the same, 0 0.5, so, we get H. So, this is H, and we know the perimeter is 18 cm. So, we add everything. So, 3H plus 1.5, 4.5H is equal to 18. So, H is equal to... So, 18 divided by 4.5, we get... for cm. So, the H in cm is for cm. So, B, the difference in length between the arc length of RS and PQ. So, we know the arc of RS. So, we calculate here, RS is 1.5H and the length R of PQ is equal to H. So, the difference in length is equal to 1.5H minus H is equal to 0.5H. So, we know H is equal to 4CM. So, 0.5 times 4CM. So, we get 2CM. So, the difference in length between the two arcs are two, is 2 cm.